Nick Robinson, welcome to Fort Griffin. Hey, Griffin. I'm I'm happy to have you here uh, as a guest for once and not a violent invader. I have come to this fort a few times before and, and laid waste to it, in large part because I don't think Fort Griffin was you stretching your creative muscle as you best could. Uh, well, I do want to point out this is actually... Uh, V2 of Fort Griffin because I've already, I finished, uh, we're playing Fire Emblem Fates, by the way. We should, mm -hmm. it's usually when you're doing video game video coverage, it's good to mention the game that you're playing right off the top. Sure. Uh, this is my conquest run though. I started, oh, with, I started with Birthright, so I started from scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wanted to do a video on the My Castle system because I think it's really neat. Um, and as you can see, this uh, fort that I have here kind of sucks. It's a little, a little ugly. I go for a nice symmetrical for it generally, but you've got, you just kind of been throwing shit wherever you feel like, huh? <laughs> well, I've been trying to burn down the the conquest uh, campaign pretty mm -hmm. quickly, so I can get to the revelation storyline. Uh, well, I can jump into my birthright castle here in a bit too, but I figured this would be a better one to show off first because we can do anything here. The yeah. the possibilities are limitless. I so, get to build them uh, in my castle. Uh, or your castle, you have a lot of different things that you can do. Uh, you can, well, first of all, you can do the usual Fire Emblem-like stuff of managing your troops, getting them equipped with the stuff they need. Um, you can change your skills, do all that stuff. All the usual, like, oh, and all the support conversations, they all happen here. Uh -huh. um, so in Awakening, this all took place in, like, a, a, a menu, and here you have, like, an actual physical space where all this stuff is taking place. Yeah, I, I actually love that change a lot, in particular because there was... I don't remember what the word for it was, but in Awakening, there was this spot where you would just... Uh, check in once a day, and like two characters would be randomly standing around talking yeah, in there. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't great. Um, yeah, not elegant. But like here, having you'll just literally walk up to two of your units, and they'll be having a conversation, and it feels a lot more organic and like real. It's not just an option you're picking off of a list of options. Yeah, I got my units all over the place. I've already talked to a couple in in this encounter. Basically, every time you uh, have a battle, whenever you come back to your castle, there'll be new events waiting for you. You can see on the, my bottom screen there, there's uh, four little panels there on the right showing you what time of day it is. That sort of affects stuff too. Like every afternoon, I can take another stab at the lottery. Um, and maybe I'll get some free stuff out of there, but I don't know. Any chance we're going to spend a little time in the old private, private quarters? Mm -hmm. Dip it in the private quarters, you okay. fucking creepo. Oh, uh, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Roll the dice. To. Uh, I mean, definitely oh. Arthur is who I definitely want to spend some time with. Mm -hmm. uh, I can spend time with anybody, but the people with the hearts, I think you get, uh, especially closer to. Uh, mm -hmm. so like, yeah, let's just like check in on my boy Arthur and see how let's things get that are going. live 2D chiseled jaw. Mm, he's so great. Arthur, you're so great. Oh, look at him. Um, I was so I sad. Wish... I was so sad when I fought him in Birthright because I was like, I don't want to fight him. I want to be buds with him. Why, uh, Griffin? Why doesn't our Arthur look like this Arthur? I want to trade Polygon's <laughs> Arthur for, for Fire Emblem's Arthur. Uh, hey, all right. Hey, maybe we can grow our support now. Um, so yeah, that 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 system can change. Uh, you can upgrade the private quarters so that uh, you have more people to choose from to get that like bump with. But I don't think I, yeah, I didn't unlock a new support conversation with him. Um, so yeah, let's let's start things out in like the actual management. Uh, let's move some stuff around and just like get organized. Well, actually, you know what? I haven't done in this castle yet. We're we're doing this thing from the ground up, baby. All righty. So we're, um, we're, I can oh, choose different styles. styles. Yeah. So I have uh, the styles actually. So your castles don't carry over from. Uh, your different playthroughs. I finished Birthright, and these are the three castles that you get to choose from in Birthright. Apparently, I just am now realizing this, uh, whenever you play through other campaigns, you can use the castle styles from the other. Huh, one. that's interesting. So you could, in theory, build a pretty close approximation of your style from your Birthright playthrough? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, this is like the, the standard Birthright uh, castle uh, layout. That's neat. Uh, so you can see on the bottom screen sort of how uh, the, the castle changes based on how I use these these different layouts. Let's, uh, let's see what, ooh, a castle that floats water. on water. Oh, that's neat. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is that you can host fights and be invaded uh, in your castle. So the actual like placement of things is kind of important from a strategic standpoint. Right. All, all of the buildings provide different uh, services. Uh, Lilith is like a little dragon that'll help you out in battle and you can feed her stuff um, to, to help you out. The mess hall, you can uh, make move meals for your troops to sort of provide little stat bonuses in the next battle. Lottery shop, like I said, you can get uh, free stuff if you're lucky. Uh, so, like, they all provide uh, a service, but most of them also provide a stat boost for your characters whenever you have a fight in your castle. Not only mm. that, you can, like, block off paths with buildings and stuff like right. that. Right. So I tried to design mine to kind of funnel people away from the throne, because when you're in a castle battle, one way that your opponent can end it right away is if they run up on your throne, the sort of top middle part of the map, and just camp out there. That is an instant 
constant win. Right. Here's my throne up here. You can't really see it. All, all, all your management stuff takes place up here. Uh, so this is the records hall. It's kind of blocking that bridge. So it's like, well, God, I'm going to have to move basically everything around because oh, I have not done like any sort of adjustment stuff. But uh, as you can see, you can you can move stuff wherever you want. Um, I haven't used this layout before, so I don't really know. We've got place. a very yeah. Let's talk about the Animal Crossing -y component of this. The different fruits and and <laughs> things and gems and stuff that you can kind of go to other towns and yes, get what they're growing. So you, I I, I never unlocked additional uh, like resource spaces. I think you only get the two for your whole run. Although mm -hmm. I may be wrong about that, I just never got to a point where I unlock more. But you can upgrade them. So I have a crystal mine and a berry garden in this castle. And those will produce stuff for me a couple times a day. Uh, and you can travel to anybody else's gar uh, anybody else's castle and get their resources too. There's also an arena that you can unlock eventually. And then you can, uh, then you can uh, wager your resources mm -hmm. in there um, uh, to, to get more of them if your units can win a battle. Uh, kind of liking this layout. Seems like it would be pretty easy to like flummox people if they come up in your spot. It's coming together a bit. I mean, well, so one thing, and I think we're gonna brush up against this here, but one thing that you and I have talked about uh, is that as cool, as surprisingly cool, actually, as all the the my castle stuff is, there are ways in which I wish it, I wish that it was more robust, kind of. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like the unlocks, you can see these are the things I build. You get build a dragon vein points is what you spend to build stuff and upgrade stuff. Um, that list is, as far as I can tell, kind of the same between the two campaigns. And not only that, like, things unlock pretty slowly. And you get plenty of Dragon Vein points, so you never feel like you're really specializing stuff, um, completely. It just feels, a, like, a little bit underdeveloped. Like, it's such a cool system, I wish there was... Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> <I, laughs> Useless not bridge. Good. Yeah. Um, I, I just wish there was, like, a little bit more to it. Because it, it, it is a neat system, but by the end of the game, like, I was kind of not spending a whole lot of time on it just because um, I had done everything that I wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, like a, a little bit of freedom to customize, I guess, like the colors or styles of individual buildings or more of your NPC dialogue. I know you can kind of customize what uh, your your hero says and a few other things, but like yeah, um, if I could really make it feel like oh, as close to an Animal Crossing home as I could get in terms of complete freedom, yeah, that would make me happier and happier. You also see I have all those resources at the bottom. Um, the top sort of strata are all gems and precious metals and stuff like that. The bottom are all meats uh, or, or all different types of food. I have some meat, some lettuce there. You can feed those to your dragon to improve them in combat, uh, or you can trade them in at the accessory shop here and you can get uh, accessories that you can equip with your characters. And then I guess, I think they only show up in your castle, the accessories do. Like I, I, I gave my hero some glasses in my uh, birthright campaign and I don't think they were like on him all the time. I think I, well, so what I did was when I scanned in my Lucina amiibo, I got the kind of classic butterfly mask from Awakening and put that on my version of Corrin and Corin uh, is the main protagonist. The protag, right. exactly. And uh, I feel like it actually did show up in, in most cutscenes and battles. Maybe um, I just wasn't looking very closely for it. So I, some, I, of the, some of them are really subtle. Like some of the glasses are just so tiny and we're talking about a screen that's like 400 by 280 <laughs> yeah, pixels. Good, it can be a little hard to, to see. That is a fair point. Uh, let's build the accessory shop and I'll show you what we, what we can do there. Uh, you saw I have like a few things I can build. Dust Dragon mainly just exists to help you out in battle. There's a few like uh, automated units you can build. Hmm. Um, there is uh, there are like ballistas and stuff like that that you can use. Uh, cer certain classes can use to like uh, damage enemies in a. Oh, I got a free eye patch. Thank you. I uh, totally heard free iPad, but I got a free iPad. Thank you. Yeah, I just bumped up the SEO. Um, oh, yeah. look at that cool look. That's a strong look for your gentleman. Strong gentleman. Hello. I love him looking down at us. That's a very... He, he looks too. suspicious of our motives in a... <laughs> <laughs> in a major way. Yeah, yeah, but you can equip any of the, the, the characters in your army with, uh, you know, fun stuff. Like a dirty mm -hmm. like a dirty kerchief. And as you as you upgrade the accessory shop, you can kind of get... They'll add new, new things. And I find that there are very few combinations of unit and accessory that don't look a little bit stupid. Yeah, they all... Uh, Pretty and I, and like most of the time, I, I feel like when you're running around your castle talking to units, about 20% of the time they'll be like, hey, I want a new accessory. So I kind of felt pressured to like have a bunch, a bunch of, of inoffensive them? accessories like in my back pocket in case yeah. they wanted them. Although sometimes they'll, you'll give it to them and they'll just be like, nah, I don't like this. Um, so I just hooked up Lilith with some meat. One thing I do want to point out is like I mentioned it, like I don't feel very invested in this castle 
because this is my second playthrough and I'm just trying to kind of get through it to get to Revelation. And mm -hmm. so like all of this idea of like customizing and outfitting your castle and upgrading it and all that stuff, um, I don't feel like I want to do a whole lot of that because I know this is sort of a temporary, a temporary home. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm playing on my capture unit. I was like, why don't I have Street Pass equipped as a different 3DS? Um, so I could I could go visit some castles um, and check out what's going on, but I think I might switch to my other save file just so we can get an idea real of like, castle. what a Your good castle home. looks like. Yeah, let's switch over. Okay, so here I am. Uh, this is my birthright castle. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on Ooh. here. Let's dip in the arena. Do some do some wits and wagers. Some gambling. Uh, now, Hana, is this, you, get, you get a random character that shows up in the arena, and it's like, I'll fight for you. And it's like, great, Hana, I haven't played with you very much, so you're probably going to get your ass kicked. <laughs> and she has no weapons equipped, but I think they kind of automatically fix yeah, that. Yeah, they, they give them a little something. Oh, um, hey, but Felicia got a critical oh, hit, so this will be good. There you go. Uh, a critical and hit of three. three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is going to be a bloodbath. Oh, okay. I mean, the thing is, they kind of, it feels like they balance it in such a way that it's always a, a close call, at least, and it yeah. kind of seems to skew slightly in favor of you winning. Um, but you have the option of hitting X uh, before you attack to kind of back out and take your, like, basically pick up your, your gems and leave and yeah. just be like, I don't want to gamble uh, this anymore. So I, I've upgraded the arena, so I can actually go into a round two. Uh, mm -hmm. They'll get a little bit healed, but I've yet to win a round two, so I think I'm going to just bounce. Take your sapphire and dip. Take the money and run. One thing that really impressed me about this is how much character-specific dialogue there is for almost every single one of these buildings. Like, it'll kind of randomly assign a character to be working the accessory shop that day or to be working the lotto shop that day. And each character has some unique dialogue for each of those places, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't have any dragon vein points, unfortunately. But you can see I've got, like, a lot of stuff popping off here. I got a hot spring. Let's check in. This, this place looks organized. Ooh, time for a relaxing bath. I think I upgraded my hot spring so I could chill with more. Oh more, yeah, more you just kind of get back to back encounters. Trust me, I've. Uh oh, did you go into the ladies' bath? No, that doesn't sound like me. No. Oh uh, yeah, I did. Oh my. This is this is uncomfortable. Raina don't Ra care. Raina's down though. Raina's, Raina is into it. Okay. Well, that was uncomfortable, but uh. Oh, you can also see I've named my uh my little castle here the fun zone. Mm -hmm. um, which is ironic because it's not a fun place for basically anyone to be if you're trying to if you're feeling if you're feeling froggy. Gotcha. Um, and change the name of it, but my the name of it is perfect. Uh, and change the oh I didn't know that I wow, had you all, have a wow lot of options now. yeah Holy I didn't know I had all these options I don't know where all these came from. Uh, when I started out I just only had the uh, the three right yeah it the was three. like Felicia and then male and female villager. Uh, female <laughs> villager looks a lot like Anna. Oh look at these savages. Yeah I'm gonna make him <laughs> welcome to Fun Zone. <laughs> He's sitting at the front desk. Uh, what music did you go with? I have to ask. Uh, quiet burn. Mm. I feel like that was appropriate. Uh, yeah let's check in. So uh, how do you how do you I forget how to change. Oh here's my messages. Um, right, what we got? All, it's called All My Kids is the name of my battle team uh, mm -hmm. because they are. Every last one of them. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm a video game. Be polite. <laughs> These feel like they're in direct uh, rebuttal to the messages that I had assigned to my character. Yeah, you have some mean messages. You can see I got some stuff going on with uh, I got this, this ballista here. Um, I've got a pretty good setup and I actually can check on things. Um, and see how I've been doing. Let me update my data. I can check and see like who's come to visit my castle and who's gotten, oh no. <laughs> oh, well that means I won't be able to play. Yeah, you probably battles. can't visit it. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, I'm playing on my, a different 3DS, which I apparently need to update and that's not good video. So I'll probably just hold off on doing that. <laughs> um, but uh, feedback, let's just see what's going on. Logan felt the love. A lot of people felt the love. A lot of people are saying the fun zone is fun, which working as intended, I guess. It makes sense to me. Uh, wow, a lot of people have been hitting my spot up lately. Attackers kind of... surrendered. That's what I like to see. Uh, a lot of people just getting all ground up in the fun mm -hmm. zone. Uh, attackers won. Wait, that's me. That's mm -hmm. oh, that must mean I attacked another person and won. Uh, so as you get that stuff, as you as you get people to visit you and battle you, you can get rewards based on how many points. Like Ooh. this disrobing Gale here. Hey, all right. If if you have weapon advantage, it'll rip their clothes right off. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's gross. Uh, an awkward but powerful weapon. Perfect. Great. Uh, so there is some like mechanical reasons to do this castle mm -hmm. stuff. Um, One thing that I was impressed by, because this is a portable, like, first-party Nintendo game on the 3DS, I was impressed how much of the online stuff kind of happened quietly in the background. Like, I, I felt like you could kind of check in and be like, hey, by the way, you have updates, just 
click here, look at your inbox, and they're in there. Like I, most 3DS games, I feel like getting online is like this big, arduous, yeah. painstaking process. It was mostly pretty seamless in this. It's fully like uh, uh, a, a asynchronous. Um, oh, this mm -hmm. is you, Blunt Corin. I get it, like the weed thing. You got it. That's me. Oh, and you, you can see my address on there. So if anyone wants to come visit, uh, whatever my castle is called, Fort yeah. Anime, I think. I'm gonna lock you just so you're always in there. By the way, great job customizing your character. Literally Thanks. not at all. I wanted it. I actually went through. It's on. It's in our live stream archive on our YouTube channel. I, I went you through went a few through options. You went just like didn't change like anything. You know. You know what it was? It was because my awakening character looked nothing like the Robin in Smash Brothers, and I was like, this time I want to feel an emotional connection to the Smash Brothers character, so I'm making him look exactly the same. Uh, yeah, okay, apparently I have, it says I've already visited you today, which is not a, which Well, you can kind of get a preview, right, but you can see my layout down there. It's got yeah, a nice symmetry to it. Yeah, that's true, you can see it on the it. bottom screen. Yeah, it looks nice. It's a nice looking castle. Okay. Uh, looks like Fort Silicon Era is, wow, Ooh. way up there. That looks impenetrable. Yeah, they've got a lot of stuff going on. Let's I see. dare you to take them on. Well, no, I'd probably get my ass absolutely kicked. Thank <laughs> you for the beans. Ah. Thank you. Oh, for they got the beans and cabbage. Okay, so yeah, I guess you can get extra resource stuff. <laughs> nice. This is a great castle. Unfortunately, I can't get into their inner sanctum unless I... Oh, no, I can sneak through it. Um, but yeah, you can see they've got some blockage stuff happening here. These statues each give the units that they depict a stat boost, which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if I tried to go in here, I think I would get taken absolutely to fool school. Mm -hmm. um, should I try it? I think let's, let's just... I can let's see how the first two or three rounds go. Well, let's check their strength. Wow, okay. Um, a lot of level 20 units. Yep. <laughs> um, so, like, we can we can give her the old college. Mm -hmm. You do have the option to... Uh, oh, they got some... Enjoy accessible. some round glasses. You're trying to bribe them to make this a little easier? Do I want a handicap? No. Nah, don't be a baby. Come on. Are you a baby? I'm not a baby. I'm a big was... I'm a big boy. You're more or less just rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic though, huh, aren't you? Like this <laughs> Yeah, no, this person's absolutely going to slaughter me. It's but... not gonna go great no matter where you put your units. Uh do I have a bowyer down there? I do, so I have that taken care of. A lot of Wow, okay, yeah, this is gonna be a absolute shit show. <laughs> Maybe I would have a better chance at seizing. What? Oh, that's right. Right off the bat, everyone gets hurt a little. All right, so uh, this is gonna be, like we talked about, very difficult because they have their shit absolutely on lock. So are you gonna have to break down those statues in order to get in there, like physically attack them, or yeah, how's that even gonna work? Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, that's gonna be rough. Uh, uh, shit, birds. Yeah, you can attack the statues, and sometimes it makes sense to uh, destroy buildings before doing anything else. Because, like, you can see hit plus 20. That's insane. Like, that's right. dodge, dodge plus 20. I'm actually going to prioritize that, because it's going to be hard to even hit anybody until I start taking that stuff down. The cool thing is, this late in the game, you can kind of one-hit most of these buildings. Uh, uh, yes, although this person, as far as I can tell, is very late in all three of the games <laughs> and is going to absolutely butcher me. You got beans, though. I By do, standing on the, the do, bean field. I do so have good. beans. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can get this unit down, because I think... Mm, it's looking like it's just under half. We'll see. Well, now I have the support from Azura, who doesn't do a lot of damage, but yeah. Oh, oh you shit! Hell. All right, whatever. It's bound to happen. Uh, I'm not actually going to leave those up, because I don't want to mess with them until I've gotten rid of some of these stat boosting sure, yeah. buildings. So by knocking down these buildings, you're actually kind of changing the layout of the arena. Yeah, you can see bit. now I can walk through. Um, I can walk through the rubble, which is very helpful. Didn't really need to heal there, but I just wanted the just wanted the experience. Um, doesn't look like I can. I don't even want to get in that shit. I don't think. <laughs> don't want to open that Pandora's box. Have that door to Golem Town. It's gonna suck. Break. Oh, you know, what, what, hell yeah. Attack the wall. There you go. Well, that's uh, one cool thing about this mode, though, is that uh, unlike the, the main campaign and the paralogues and all the side stuff, character deaths in this mode are not permanent and do not really matter, which is good. Yeah, they're kind of skirmishes um, for, you know, um, uh, bragging rights mostly, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, all right. I mean, I do want to take these statues down, though, right? Like, because they're, they're buffing their team members. Um, 
I got some skin in the game though, and I don't want to. All right, let's just. How is uh, Real Men Silas's relationship right now? Uh, n non-existent. <laughs> all right, I'm glad they're together. Now all their people get healed, so Camilla gets a little HP. Hey, hey, that worked. <laughs> that worked out very well. Uh oh. No, oh, a full, a full-blown retreat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could roll up on him from the side, like break down that wall, sneak in there, and just watch yeah, the that, throne. This is a, uh, this is absolutely task number one. It's going to be getting rid of this dragon. I think I can. Yep, no scope. And right. so, do you have to to seize the throne? Does it have to be your hero, or? Uh, no, I think it can be any unit. Um, this is a small detail, but one thing I really love about this game is how, uh, I mean, you have all your tech animations turned off, I guess, but the, unlike in Awakening, Let's when it, on. yeah, I'll get, get a nice, gussy it up a bit. Let's just do Dark Mantor. Yeah. Um, but just seeing, like, when it zooms into the map, it actually zooms into a 3D representation of what you're seeing from the yeah, upper Yeah, it's view. really, really slick. Um, it looks really good. Uh, it, it almost always makes sense. There are some situations where, for example, you've got like an archer firing over a wall and then it'll zoom in and they'll be in the same room just because it's hard to visually depict that the way these battles are laid out. But for the most part, it, it just feels like this very seamless zoom in, zoom out thing that a uh, big enhancement from the previous game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, all right. I don't need to destroy anything down there. I think we can start getting some work done. I'm gonna chase her down, I think, because that's just too huge of a range to. Oh shoot! Oh man, I don't know. I really. I I, to, I foresee I... Azura dying next turn. <laughs> yeah, that was I... a, that was a, what we call a misplay. Hmm. Uh, unless I can get him down to. No, this mm. is rough, rough stuff. Well, if you put him on Silas, can Silas move far enough down there? Uh oh, this wall doesn't go all the way around. Oh. This is good because that's just gonna keep on healing him. Now they don't get them sick heals. Let's put, let's start building that relationship. <laughs> yeah, it's about never too late to, to make them friends. Uh, and then I guess let's just get her ready to rush in. Yep, yeah, Baez. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Oh, she must have a skill that lets them switch places. Sorry, Jacob. Really should have seen that coming. One experience point for that. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually going to be very bad. Did you find that in your Birthright playthrough you were nice. doing much grinding? Or were you mostly critical almost, pathing almost, the review? Almost none at all, yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't feel like it was super necessary all that often. Yeah, so you finished it? Um, not not quite. Uh, I'm, I'm not at the end yet. But I would find that like when I would do sort of the invasions and side story stuff, and uh, I, would, I would save the paralogues and uh, campaign stuff for when... I was paying attention to the, to the game, giving it my full undivided, and then um, I would do the sort of grindy stuff. Oh, that's you their, asked for it. That's their uh, their call out. Please don't miss. Uh, uh, yeah, I think maybe I do have a better chance at this because a lot of their units aren't elevated. Yeah, a lot of their. I noticed all the characters were at or near level twenty, which made me think they they maybe weren't using seals very much. Yeah, oh. it seemed like base level units. Uh, I think maybe we can start digging in. I'm actually not going to waste time. Yeah, I'm not going to waste time getting through the... Oh, the whole thing comes down. Wow. Shit birds, okay. Um, man, I've invaded your castle so many times, I, I I didn't even know this wall technology existed. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's, let's do some work. We'll pair up. This is still like my favorite maneuver in all of Fire Emblem. Oh, nice. Don't need to see the heal animation. I trust yeah. that it happened. My favorite, uh, my settings right now are, I'll watch animations for for combat, um, but healing and Azra's singing, I do not need to see that ever again. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, can I do anything? Uh, well... You're pretty close to the throne there. I can't, oh, get, you're... I can't Wait, get to so... it. If you attack, uh, right, right. If you attack Takumi and you hit, you'll one hit Takumi. But I think if you miss. I think, I think it's actually gonna take me two shots. Uh, I'm not even gonna risk that. Um, because Takumi can't get to me this turn. Mm -hmm. I think she's my. Oh no, I have a zero too. Oh, that's right. Later. Boom! Got her. Yeah. I... It was your time. I think I've got this one in the bag. It's going way better than I thought. I underestimated you. I'll admit it. 
Yeah, this is like a wicked good army. Look at my pine branch. <laughs> They're giant. It's the yep. most ridiculous weapon in the game, and I think I have like 10 of them. It's so kind of good. Yeah, it's. I mean, it has a low chance to hit, but it does a lot of damage if it does. So, uh, Wait there. Uh, let's just hold them up so she can help fight off this counterattack. Oh, maybe not. Won't get a chance. Well, thank God he survived that. Oh, shit. Okay, we're I mean, good. Luckily, they're all getting out of your way, so you can just storm the, the castle and uh, seize it. Uh, I think I'm going to try and take out this records hall if I can. Yeah. Oh, I should have moved one space over. That's all right. Uh, we'll have her take down the wall. Yeah. Is uh, Silas close enough to to see to seize the whole place? Uh, yeah, you know, we could... Ryoma probably is. Nope, not Ryoma. Uh, Silas is not close enough. Ryoma needs, what, two more movement? That's not mm. doable. Does Silas give him extra movement when he pairs up with... It depends the horse... on the class he's got. Um, okay. Yeah, he does. Oh, so it'll get you real close, but not quite be there. Very close, but it won't be enough. That's okay, though. This is going to go good. Mm -hmm. 29 plus 15 damage, I think. Uh, yep. We'll do the job. We made it. I like that they're, you're standing in the rubble of the building you knocked down. 29%, oh, got... let's roll it. Let's see what happens. 86% chance to hit. Got that Raijin toe. Nice, all right. <clears throat> Oh, oh shit, you're about to get to get cut up. Oh my god. That person just died in their real game. <laughs> yep. So heartily were they something. killed. All right, so I've got this on the next turn. Um, unless I want to go for the full embarrassment of like a just absolute decimation. I am really, really worried that Reyna will not live to see the next turn based on the number of dudes with projectile <laughs> weapons yeah. she's surrounded by. Well, unless she just like bounces, but what's the fun in that? I have him in kind of the bad a bad place. Mm. Although they do both have bows, so uh, Keaton can be kind of a ding dong, but he can counterattack. Let's just do that. Oh, you got a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no big deal. He's a ninja. He can do that. Oh, tight. Yeah, I forgot about that ability. Sixty-three percent. I wish I hadn't pressed A so quickly on that and had looked right. at that number. Here we go, and yeah, everyone did Damn their it. job. Nope, oh. they, didn't, they didn't quite finish it. All right, yeah, Follow Reyna through. is, they might both be dead, actually. All right, uh, let's get a heal going. I love a challenge. And maybe let's bait them with Griffin. Mm. I don't Classic think... move. Well, is this doing anything? Uh, HP 35, it says. Oh, that's how much health the actual... Oh, it has, has. right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, I mean, I'm going to win on the next turn anyway. Let's just... Let's just, you know, add insult to injury. <laughs> now, it's worth noting that none of this is reflected when you're... Uh, opponent comes back and checks on their castle. It's not like all their buildings are gone or anything. It's purely no, for as his, battle. as hysterical as that would be. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, Sizo. Oh, dag. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's call it. Ryoma crawls to the throne with seven health. Hey, two dragon points though. Uh, so I can, you know, I've never actually found a skill that I can inherit from somebody. Um, I think it's because all of your versions of these characters have these already. Oh, there's one. Yeah, there's one I don't have. Um, but I almost always prefer to just steal one of them. Mm -hmm, and usually just... I just go ahead and I take the their avatar. Yeah. I, I build a... Eh, interesting. <laughs> it's so <laughs> condescending. It's the best option for that reason. So I got some battle points and uh, I got this new unit that I can drop in.
Yeah, it's worth noting, I, I once went to a Nora one from someone who's playing Conquest and took one of the units that's not available in Birthright, and you can still get the unit and fight with them, but you can't, like, have any conversations or supports with them. They're, yeah. they're just silent, so. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is the castle system. Uh, it is uh, pretty neat. You can see now I've got some Dragon Main points if I wanted to upgrade... Uh, wow, I have a lot of things I can upgrade. Oh, get that level three private quarters. You get that level three hot spring, see what's popping off. Oh, let's let's go back to the hot spring one last time. Yeah, that'll be where we call it. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, I think it's neat. I wish I wish there was a little bit, maybe a little bit more to it, and uh, but but the multiplayer stuff is surprisingly pretty competent. And um, yeah, it was it's a weird mix of like I was surprised at at how much was in it, and also. Once I saw how much was in it, I started to get a little disappointed at how much cooler it could be. Like, yeah, because it could be really cool. Yeah, right. it's it's already very cool and a great addition to the game and a huge enhancement from Awakening, but it could be even better for yep. sure. Anyway, uh, this is Fire Emblem Fates. It's out this Friday. Thanks for watching.